Hey everybody. Um, we were going to do some live uh, features. We were going to basically start sampling some stuff, but we actually have too much inventory. We have a first world problem right now. We have too much inventory. So what I'm going to do is show you guys all the shit that we're going to be actually sampling over the next week. And from there, maybe you guys can help me decide where we're going to start, where we're going to finish, what you guys really want to learn about. But uh, first and foremost, we've got a big pre-roll week coming up next week. Uh, we have 420 coming up on Friday. We're less than a week away. We're six days away. So what we're wanting to do right now is just go over the pre-rolls that we're going to be featuring at this point. And let's start with the Stellar Jays. This is something that we've uh, been smoking for a while. Premier packaging. You've got uh, additional packaging on the inside, so these are basically individuals ready to go. The uh, Terps on these, I believe these were Sweet Jesus, but I don't think it has that uh, that's the same terpene profile on them, but uh, it's always AAA uh, cannabis that's going into the Stellar Jays for sure. We have nothing bad really to say about them. Um, filters are great, the uh, tamping is great as well. The biggest issue I have with a lot of pre-rolls is the fact that they're just not packed solidly enough. Give me a second, Google. Hey Google, volume down. Excuse me everybody. Um, after that, what have we got? We got a uh, care package from Flower Power here. Hi everybody. This, uh, the nose coming off of this is absolutely phenomenal and I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. We've got the Blue Dream. I haven't cracked these officially, but there's something really, really stinky in there. And it's beautiful and it's fruity and it's packaged well. You can see here too, you got the bow. Excuse me, I learned how to say Boveda today. It's Boveda. It's not Boveda. It's not Boveda. It's Boveda. Boveda. All right, people. That's what's in here. Um, this is kind of next level in that regard from a uh, packaging standpoint. Uh, only these guys so far, as well as pre rolled cones. Um, come standard with a uh, Boveda humidity control in there or some kind of humidity control. I'm not sure if it's <laughs> Boveda uh, in pre-rolled cones, but it is in the flower power. Um, we have a CBD pre-roll in here. Is that this one? Excuse me, this is the lemon haze, so that's not the CBD. Uh, we got this guy here, uh, Charlotte's Web. Anybody out there trialed Charlotte's Web? This stuff is phenomenal from a uh, CBD standpoint, inflammation, anxiety. Um, it's a really popular strain right now as well. Pretty much it's, uh, you know, it's kind of the pretty girl at the dance right now. Everybody's talking about her. So Charlotte, nice work. Um, we also have some pre-rolls that we got from BC Bud Dispatch. Uh, packaging is pretty decent as well. Um, this one I believe is Pink Kush. Uh, strong enough anyways, but we're going to start uh, looking into identifying uh, a little bit more of the uh, profiles of what we're going to be finding in here, Indica, Sativa. Um, everybody right now seems to be really working on their labeling, their packaging. It may be for naught given that the government is coming in to uh, do their thing. But at this point anyways, everybody's working on this. Um, BC Bud Dispatch has access to some of the best, okay, the best cannabis well, in the world, Canada has the best cannabis, but the best cannabis on the West Coast, which also means the best cannabis in Canada. Um, so you can trust that what's inside these little tubes is going to knock your socks off. It's going to smell phenomenal. And indeed it does. You can pick the Terps up off this like nobody's business. I kind of wish we were reviewing this because I do want to smoke this stuff. I, I'm a huge, huge advocate of BC Bud Dispatch. I highly suggest you check them out. Um, next we have Noble Extracts. This one is a uh, tangy, the other one is a blueberry. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be overly critical about the packaging right now, but uh, this does remind me a little bit of five years ago in Vancouver when I had to make a call every time I needed to find something. They're very likely working on their packaging. They have some strong branding going on. Their stickers and slaps were all pretty rad. Their website was very easy to use. So I'm looking forward to seeing where Noble Extracts goes with their packaging and labeling. Um, right now, it does need some improvement. With that being said, though, the actual uh, actual bat itself, it's uh, well packed for the most part. A little bit of a few loose spots here and there, but I'm really looking forward to the quality. I've heard some of you testify that uh, Noble Extracts is uh, is one of your go-tos. So we're really looking forward to digging in and diving deeper with these fellas. Um, they also uh, handed over some of their extracts as well as their flowers. So we're going to be looking forward to reviewing that also. All right, what else do we have? The mini nail. I know that's backwards, but uh, the mini nail. We have the mini nail. Um, looking forward to, I haven't even used it yet. I haven't even used it yet. I think I might actually have you guys join me for the first day that I actually do plug this in, which is gonna be hopefully tomorrow. Um, the reason I don't is because of, well, I just haven't 
used it yet. I don't want to look like a moron, but I'm pretty sure this stuff is straightforward. Uh, what is an e-mail? If you guys aren't aware, it's basically a small temperature device. This is a, is a little uh, adapter. Um, that uh, basically you can set the temperature here as far as what you want to be dabbing at. I don't know what the lowest temperature is. The highest temperature I think is around 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. So you set it low, you can get all the terps. You set it high, you can get yourself some cancer. I mean, you choose. You're going to get pretty blasted at cancer temperatures, but at the low temperatures, you're actually going to be able to take advantage of the, the terpene profiles. You're going to actually be able to sense and, and, and taste the flavors on your palate. It's not just getting smashed and guess what I like doing that too sometimes but there's also times I want to sit down try some of these phenomenal uh, extracts that are out there and actually taste the entire terpene profile um, some stuff that we're going to be trialing again some from grown lab we've uh, talked about their flower as well in past reviews uh, grown lab is a, a solvent free uh, rosin extract and bubble hash um, what I really like about them is their uh, their analysis. They go to great lengths to get a good analysis going. They provide percentages, um, or excuse me, what is this? 5.9, the milligrams per gram of the terpenes, which is really nice, and it pro provides the top three terpenes uh, that are in these extracts. So that's a really, really cool feature to have. I'll tell you that much. If you're a connoisseur, you really do want to know what those terpenes are doing. You want to know what terpenes are in there because they're actually going to affect how your cannabis performs. It, quite simply. So Space Bear is another one and we're going to be itching to kind of get you guys on board to Space Bear but uh, uh, they're one of the leading terpene uh, retailers right now from the craft side. Um, I'm looking forward to learning a lot more about terpenes because I'm not sure exactly how each one is affecting uh, affecting my joints, affecting my uh, my outcomes but with that being said we're going to delve into that a lot more too as time, time goes on. Uh, Noble Extracts also gave us a little black mango live resin a uh, little jar here to give a sample with, and that's something, oh my god. Yeah, the terpenes on that are just gorgeous. Hopefully we can get my face out of there, my ugly mug, and you can get a little bit of a feel for what that looks like. But nice and clean looking. It's just a nice waxy, uh, looks like a nice waxy texture. Again, I don't want to get in there right now and start wasting it all over the front of these latex gloves, but uh, we're going to get into that one together. Um, and there was another one in here, I thought, but, uh, oh, here we are. The California, California Orange CO2 Wax. Uh, that was another treat from Noble Extracts. Uh, one gram of that. Uh, we're certainly not doing any one, gra one gram dabs here. That's not what we're about at Matchstick. Um, with that being said, we're going to get into uh, Noble pretty deep. We also have some of their flour. Again, not going to go into the packaging. We know this isn't ideal, but from what I understand, the flour is quite nice. I did have some of the uh, tangy last night. That's this one here, and it actually did provide some uh, uh, some wonderful uh, side effects from a, a sleeping aid standpoint. It, it, it got me right to bed. Mind you, I was pretty tired, but it did have some great effects on it. So happy with the flower, not too happy with the packaging, not overly happy with the labeling, but we'll, uh, we'll work on that as I'm sure they are right now. Storage solutions, what else did we get? Well, this wasn't given to us. Well, it was given to us, but we won this uh, Ganja Bros uh, storage jar. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we guessed uh, guessed the right song, and lo and behold, we won the contest. Um, these things are a lot more complex than I thought they were coming in. They have, uh, well, they first of all come with a larger bag of bo Bovida. Um, sits on the bottom, of course, we're huge advocates of humidity control. What is, else is nice is they have this uh, temperature and humidity gauge. Um, another beautiful addition, quite frankly, that you can uh, continually and further monitor the, uh, the status of your cannabis. And then this plunger thing, look at that. It just goes right in, gives a nice airtight seal, gives you options as to how much cannabis is in there, how much isn't in there. Hopefully it's almost empty and you guys are gonna be picking up some more. But this is a really, really funky uh, jar. Um, really well designed. It comes basically ready to be stuffed with cannabis. So uh, go out, get yourself an ounce or two, get yourself a Ganja Brothers jar. I'm really happy I got this, quite frankly. I, I love 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 storage solutions as uh, you saw in my last live or from the live a couple ago grown lab you and your stratospheres just knock it out of the park you guys need to get one of these okay like look online go to grownstash.com but uh, grown lab is a solvent free extract uh, manufacturer however they do have flour they do have uh, a couple of other little goodies one of these is the stratospheres what are the stratospheres? They're small bundles of varying extracts. There, I believe, is some unicorn uh, 
rosin in there, there is some uh, bubble hash, there is some keef. What's nice about it is, and I wish, you know what, let's just crack one right now. Um, I'll, and I'll break it up into, where do we add here? No, you know what, I think that one's for a friend. Let's go with a lower terpene profile, crack that. I just want to show you how this doesn't. Uh, it's going to be tough to see, I think. But, okay, squish. I have nothing against moon rocks. I haven't uh, had an opportunity to review them, and I will. There's something great about them. But you can see now that this doesn't stick to my hands. I can break this up, and it just feathers, feathers right into my joint, and it smokes well. If you've ever put hash, and this isn't hash, this isn't hash, this is a mixture of varying extracts. If you've ever put hash into a joint, little nards, chances are you've had that bing, 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 where red hot nards of hash are falling out of the joint because they simply shouldn't be put in there and smoke that way. This is not what's happening with these stratospheres. These stratospheres actually smoke perfectly. My joints smoke evenly. No issues whatsoever. And look at this, my, my fingers aren't, aren't covered. So it's not hash. It's not like working with an extract. It's working with a, uh, a better version, a combined version. They're working together and my fingers aren't sticky. I get nice and, well, nice and toasted. And uh, I can't say enough about Grown Lab. What else do we have here? Uh, from Noble Extracts, we also got a couple of uh, vape cartridges that we'll be reviewing. So this one is Straw Nana, and backwards on your screen, obviously. And this one here is Pineapple Express. Can't go wrong with those two. Um, very excited to go strap this one on. I, uh, I've got one, uh, an empty pen over here that I need to load up and that's exactly what's going on there next. So I will give you a great review on that. I, well, it may be a bad one, but I highly doubt it. Um, it looks absolutely phenomenal. The other thing again that we want to be watching for in all of our vape pens is let's make sure that they're using only terpenes or nothing whatsoever essentially if they're not using diluents if they're using diluents and they're not using terpenes then there's going to be something wrong don't smoke that they